rolling down the street in my six four. Just like that, somebody turned off the rain and the sun come out. I'm your huckleberry. Uh -uh. Hey everybody, you don't know me, but I'm on TV, so you can trust me. Welcome to the This Is Tampa podcast with Rob and I'm Jen and today we're here at Bubba's 33 with the owners Jeff and Krista Dean. Thank you for having us. Yeah. We're so excited you guys are here. Thank you. Yeah, thank you for letting us in. Uh, it's been exciting watching uh, the pre-opening and everything going on. Uh, the Chamber of Commerce here today. Building one up super quick. Uh, we were talking about it this morning. I felt like a week ago we were putting a shovel in the ground and all of a sudden the, the day is here. So we're so, so excited to open. Yeah. I imagine at the time it felt like it was so far away, but now it's like... Hours. It, it, yeah, it did. We, we moved down here uh, about a year and a half ago, um, and I've been on the road traveling, getting getting trained into Bubba's culture, um, and getting back to Texas Roadhouse. Um, and now we're finally here. We open up this afternoon. It's it's a little bit surreal. Yeah, yeah. for sure. It's, it's exciting. Awesome. So, where did y'all move here from? Chicago land. Oh, okay. Now, some people won't let us say Chicago proper, so Chicago <laughs> land. <laughs> Chicago proper. Chicago land. I like right. it. The burbs. <laughs> the burbs. Oh my gosh. Well, we had some people on from the Burbs. Yeah. Uh, is that where uh, this concept, or you learned of this concept? No, so, uh, the, so we're, we're affiliated with Texas Roadhouse. We're, we're a sister concept. Uh, we are the 28th restaurant opening up. And as most people probably know, Texas Roadhouse has almost 600 restaurants right now, uh, nationwide and internationally. Uh, so we're first one in Florida. Um, the, the headquarters is in Louisville, Kentucky. So everything's mm -hmm. been founded out of Louisville, but we're all over the place now. Okay, wow. so how did how did you personally learn about the brand or uh, Bubba's 33? So we opened a Texas Roadhouse in 2010 in St. Charles, Missouri. Oh, okay. And our market partner at the time was a gentleman named Rod Jones. Uh, he is now our regional regional market partner for Bubba's 33, so he oversees all of our Bubba's locations. Um, I went away from the Texas Roadhouse brand for about eight or nine years, and I'm just blessed to be able to be welcomed back to the family. Um, as I was able to come back to the company, he was looking for a couple locations that, that I could possibly help grow. Uh, Florida being one of them, the other one being uh, Charlotte. And so it was the, the options were stay with family in Chicagoland, um, where it's probably freezing right <laughs> <Yes>. now. <laughs> it's definitely or, going. Or go to, it, it was ironic because I've ha I have family right now that lives in the Charlotte area. So that would have been a good move for us. Um, my uncle and some of my family used to live in Tampa. I used to live in Cheval. So oh, okay. it was kind of a homecoming, if you will. And, and yeah. they, they, my, my aunt and uncle, uh, Mike and Patty, come through every once in a while through Tampa still. So it's it, it, almost a homecoming, but crossing paths with some people that have been down here from our family as That's well. That's awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. So uh, you, got, you have this location now. Mm -hmm. All right, and, and there's going to be uh, another one you said in Florida. So we've got almost 40 Texas Roadhouses in uh, in in Florida itself. All right. There's no reason. Uh, not everyone will. Not every Bubba's will be right next door to a Texas Roadhouse, but probably somewhere close because we, you know, it's a known known entity uh, that we can we can kind of jump onto. And now that we are celebrating being part of, of Texas Roadhouse, it makes sense for us to, to partner. Sometimes right across the parking lot. Sometimes right around the corner. Uh, we have two more that we, we've signed so far, one in Brandon and one in Pensacola, both opening next year. And then hopefully we'll have 20 or 30 within the next 10 years, hopefully. Yeah. Wow. We're popping up like wawas around yeah. here. <laughs> depending on how we, we, all depending on how we do here today. So. <laughs> well, I think you're going to do awesome. Yeah, I think, I think you're going to do awesome. Oh my gosh. So do you, you don't have, I, I got to ask, like the peanuts, you know, obviously Texas Roadhouse, there's peanuts all over the floor. The peanuts here we got no peanuts on the floor. I didn't see any peanuts by the door. Have you ever had to sweep up peanuts? At the end of the <laughs> the, 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 no. Uh, you know, I'm okay we don't have peanuts. I, I, I just, I, I, I don't, I'm, little, I'm the guy that goes over there yeah. and I, I just can't throw the shell on the floor. Yeah, me either. I, like, I didn't either. I, I, I know. Probably partially because I had to sweep it up anyway, but it's just, you know, uh, there's plenty on the floor. Yeah, there's plenty so there. I just, I just can't do it. So how did they come up with this Bubba's 33 concept when they already had Texas Roadhouse and that seems to be going pretty well? Where did this concept come from? And Texas Roadhouse is going super well still. Mm -hmm. um, I don't, I don't think Texas Roadhouse is, is at any rate saturated necessarily. Mm -hmm. uh, there are still plenty more that can be built, but, but they will reach a saturation point at some point. Oh, okay. And Kent Taylor, our founder, was looking to come up with something to compete with the Buffalo Wild Wings, the fast mm -hmm. casual pizza. 
uh, the burger places of the world. Um, and there are so many that do it pretty well. We think, arguably, I'm, I'm part of the brand, so I think we do it better. Yeah. Um, but, but our three main categories are uh, fresh ground burgers, uh, pizzas, and chicken. Chicken. When I say chicken, we do tenders and we do boneless wings. We do bone-in wings. Wow. A couple different um, entrees and, and sandwiches as well. Mm -hmm. um, Texas Roadhouse has been very well received for a long time, and we just kind of accentuate that. So yeah. we can add a few more things on the menu. You know, you're, you're going to Texas Roadhouse. What I've said during during these last couple of weeks is that Texas Roadhouse, you know them as you know steak and potatoes and country music. Yep. We're a little bit more than that. Um, we're still everything's still made fresh daily. We're hospitality centered. We're very friendly. We also want to be the friendliest place in town. But then we've also got you know 50 TVs inside, a little bit different ambiance. Yeah. We have rock. a little little bit of country music, but a little bit more more modern uh, current music, um, pop music as well. Uh -huh. And then there's so much of a different ambiance. Uh, Texas Roadhouse is great, but not everybody wants to line dance, and right. not everybody wants to throw <laughs> peanut shells. Um, you know, so we've got the, the, the menu extends itself a little bit more favorably to pizza and burgers and wings and entrees and salads and sandwiches and some pastas that we've, that we've kind of uh, brought on board last, last year. So yeah. it's just got a little bit more diverse diversity to it. Mm -hmm. Um, and it, and it, and it still has that family appeal yeah. as well. Well, this is like the place you want to come to watch a game or Absolutely. a sporting event of some yeah. sort, you know, and, uh, and have some beers with some friends some wings and just you know it's a totally different concept there you go for you know dinner with the family mm -hmm. for, for our steak and, well we, you know, we expect to see some kids cool. here too we've got yeah. uh, up front we've got uh, kind of our tribute to the local high schools oh, yeah. with a lot of their I different sporting that. events and then we've got a kind of a college area and then our rock oh, area that you guys cool. are sitting in oh, uh, and it, 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 it lends itself to a couple of different experiences if you will yeah. uh, depending on if you want to be a little louder in the bar area so our garage bar uh, holds about 150 people that tends to have a little bit of a different vibe but it's we're not a bar um, we're not a sports bar we're we're, a, we're still a family oriented sports restaurant um, and then in the dining room it's a little bit quieter but not totally quiet um, it just you know if, if you're if you're not if you don't really want to kind of belly up to the bar and hang out and, and don't maybe want to hear people cheering so loudly for the game yeah. I can still see it if I want to but <laughs> Mm -hmm. I don't necessarily have to be part of the action over there. Right. Perfect. Yeah, it's definitely separated and, uh, you know, there's a lot of uh, space here yeah. to spread so out. This sounds like my kind of section. No <laughs> yeah. screen. Yeah. Yeah. My yeah. husband can watch a game, but I don't have to hear everyone yell We also it. have Chive TV, so if you're not into the game, you Ooh. can always watch some funny videos on Chive. 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 That keeps everybody entertained as well. That's yeah. I think the kids awesome. interesting. For it's sure. For it sure. is an absolute trap uh, because... <laughs> It is, it's like you're watching a whole, it's like you're watching a whole viral uh, meme and you get lost 10 minutes of chive and it's all of a sudden, you know, it's all good. Yeah. Yeah. She's fine. You're okay, Wendy. Oh, they they can cut fine. it out. We, yeah. like, we keep it real on this We're podcast, not live. okay? <laughs> we keep it so real. Oh, that's really cool. So the menu items, it sounds like it's a lot more family friendly type things besides just a steak and potatoes. Mm -hmm. What are some of your favorite items here? I mean, what's like if you come here and you want to eat, which I know you probably can't ever do, but you know, if you were to <laughs> we pick actually one do. thing. We have this do week. You? Yeah, Yay. yeah, it's been, it's been good. For me, personally, every time I'm in a Bubba's, I, I have the cal quinoa salad Ooh. with salmon on it. That's yeah. my thing. I love it. I'm, I'm not really a, a salad kind of gal, but I, that salad is just my favorite menu item for sure. Ooh. So for me, our, our marketing is right up our alley. I love pizza. Could eat it every day. Mm -hmm. Try not to, but yeah. I could. <laughs> I love burgers. I love wings. Um, there you however, go. we also do hand cut steaks. Uh, we have a ribeye as well. Uh, we okay. One is a 12 ounce ribeye. That's kind of our signature. And then we have a, a, a marinated ribeye, which is marinated in, in a in a combination of espresso and honey with Ooh. a few other things that are in there. So it's it's almost um, kind of a Polynesian type flavor. It's, it's, a, it's yeah. just a great balanced balanced steak as well. Aww. Yeah, and you, and you have some signature drinks as well. Which yeah, we, we have some great cocktails. Um, yeah. we, have a, yes. we have a pretty good range of beers. We're not, we're, we're not a craft tap house, so we're not chasing 50 or 100 beers on tap. But we've got some great partners in, with local representation, with Brew Bus and Cigar City and Florida Brewing and a couple other places that we do. Uh, our handcrafted cocktails are fantastic. Um, 
you want to talk about the margaritas at all? Or oh, yeah. I don't know. You guys tell the us what you liked the best when you were here. Oh, that spicy one. What, what's that called? The Red, oh, de- red, red Devil. Margarita. The Red Devil. Red oh, yeah. Devil. Red Devil is strawberry and jalapeno. That's fantastic. Man, yeah. I didn't know what to expect, but it was like... It was so good. good. Yeah. It was perfectly it was mixed. Really good. And it just... It hit every flavor point. The so Long Island that's was what really good. We, we got, yeah, we've got a balance of... Uh, kind of the features of our, of our cocktail menu are Long Islands and mules uh, and margaritas. Um, but we can do any... I mean, we've got a full bar, so we can do kind of whatever as well. Yeah. Right. We have a great four for four menu, too. So it's, Ooh. you know, four different options for $4 all day. So you're not pigeonholed kind of into a happy hour time frame. Wow. Yeah, so it's happy hour all day. Yeah. So nice. you want to talk about the four for four, the options? Oh, yeah. I don't know them off the top of my head. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, they have to come in and yeah, check them out. And check them out. The four for yeah. fours. Yeah, so yeah. New Amsterdam Those vodka are... drinks. We've got, you can do all different sorts of mixers. We've got margaritas. There's a bunch of different Ooh. flavors for that same four for four special. Oh. So it's not really just for options. There's options within options. And then, of course, you have your um, your Jack beers, beer. yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. amazing. Yeah. Well, I tried the margarita last time, too. That was really good. Good. So. Yeah, we have a triple crown margarita that is Ooh. awesome. I think that's one. Did, is that the one you tried? The I don't remember. I think it's so. got three different kinds of Don Julio in it. Okay. So it's a top, yeah. top shelf oh. margarita. Uh, our margarita mixes are all fresh pressed juices as well. Yeah. So, and, and we think that counts, and, and you can tell. Mm-hmm. It's not a very syrupy, sugary, give you a stomach ache. Yeah, you know, it's, you're it's, not a, just, it's a great margarita. Right. It's all it's fresh ingredients, absolutely. which is important. That's awesome. Well, so tell us a little bit more about you. You all did you all meet in Chicago or? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a long so, story, Jen. It's so long she, story. she grew up in New England. I grew up in uh, Akron, Ohio. Um, my first job out of college, while I was still trying to figure out what to do, was with Macaroni Grill. Aww. So I moved out to New England with Macaroni Grill. Um, wow. I was with them for about three and a half years or so. Um, I actually fired her. Oh, 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 true story. <laughs> but it was she. she I, I was attracted to her instantly. She, uh, she had. She always had something going on. She was super organized. She was always happy, which not everybody you meet in the restaurant business is always happy. Mm-hmm. There's always something, uh, and, and and everybody's got something. Um, she was finishing her student teaching, finishing her teaching degree, studying for the praxis, working at the casinos on the weekends. And she was working for wow. us like on Monday and Tuesday lunches. And I was scheduling her, but at the time I was the executive chef of the of the restaurant. Oh. And when I was scheduling her, I was so I was executive chef, so handling all the kitchen stuff. But I also had responsibilities to the servers and the bar. Mm-hmm. So I was really writing all the schedules in the restaurant. And I kept calling her, going, "Hey, Monday, Tuesday, you're working 19 jobs. Why are, why are you working? Like, why are you wasting? Kind of, why are you wasting your time on Monday and Tuesday?" And she's like, "Well, what do you mean?" I said, "I'm taking you off the schedule." And she's like, "What do you mean?" I said, "I." <laughs> It's. She was driving from Stores, Connecticut, which is like forty minutes away. Yeah. And I was just trying to be hospitable in a weird way. Yeah. Like I loved having I loved having her in the building. She was awesome. Guests loved her, but it was. I, I, I in my in my mind I couldn't imagine it not being a pain to drive forty minutes to come and work lunch, make twenty five dollars, turn back around and go back home. So I was like, I'm taking you off the schedule. You're already trying uh, to protect her. And then oh. took me on a date. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, hey, you want to go to the beach? Let's go. So that's kind of the way it yeah, happened. That yeah. is a true story. He fired me, and here we are. By the 20 way, some odd years later. 20, oh, what, 20, odd, 20 years and 20 moves later, here we are. Yeah. 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 Story. Yeah, story. I love yeah. that. That's the way to start a relationship. Yeah. Yeah. You're fired. You're fired, but let's <laughs> now I know you're. I go, I know you're not doing anything tonight. <laughs> yeah. You're right. I didn't even think of right? that. Yeah. Yes, that was it. Oh my god. Something like that. It, it's something wow. Like that. Yeah. 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 So we live here That's now. Awesome. We're part of the community. Obviously, we've opened here in Wesley Chapel. We're super psyched to be here. Yay. We have two boys. Um, they're both teenagers now, which seems crazy too. They also both work at the restaurant, which Aww. makes it even more fun wow. for us. Yeah, they're um, sophomore and senior in high school to go to Land Lakes. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. So it, it um you know, we've always been part of tried to be part of the community and really give back and and really um, not just sit here and have guests come to us, but really give back to the schools and be mm-hmm. part of what's going on in the community and the Tampa North Tampa Bay Chamber has been phenomenal for mm-hmm. us. Um the, the rotary too. There's a few rotaries that we have visited. Yeah. Um and the the support that we're getting out of the community we can't 
Um, we can't express how excited we are to finally be open to give back to those who've been here to support us. Mm -hmm. So it's super, Absolutely. super, super great. So you're not going back to Chicago anytime soon. No, <laughs> we're living no. our best yeah. Florida life. Right. Yeah. We're, we're, <laughs> we've already, we've already decided, it's only been a year and a half, but it's like, okay, we're not leaving Florida again. Yeah. So yeah. Not yeah. having it. For sure. That's awesome. For yeah. sure. Yeah. 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 We're, we're oh super uh, stoked to have you in the in the community and the area. Yeah. I'm glad you're bringing stuff like this. And we're Thank you. Know, you. That's Thank what, you. That's what makes it. Yeah. You know, so much better over here. That's Wesley great. Chapel's blowing up. Mm -hmm. It's Absolutely. crazy, it's a great isn't location. it? Absolutely. Even the yeah. small time we've been here, things have changed so dramatically. So oh, to yeah. have this building go from the ground up has been awesome. Right. I right. know Jeff gave a little credit to the construction team. They they built this in record time, 116 days. I wow. think they were at, um, and their commitment to us and you know, amazing. putting up with me with my hard hat coming Aww. to take pictures for the marketing team. Right. Um, they've kind of become part of our family too. Oh so my gosh. Uh, yeah, it's it's just amazing. It's finally mm -hmm. coming to fruition here today. That's so great. Yeah. That's yeah. what we wanted. Another, yeah. Not another storage unit. Yeah. I mean, those things, those I, that's what we say every time. Every time we drive around, it's like, oh, more storage. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, we don't yeah. have basements. And, well, and to be on this side of the highway, too, um, obviously we cross over to come here, but we think that this we're a really great addition to this side of the highway and yes. to be next to yes. uh, you know, our, our sister brand, sure. Texas Roadhouse. Yeah. Um, yeah, why fight that? Why, I, just fighting over 75 is a little crazy right now. Uh, yeah. Yeah. You're, it's well, a little easier. The traffic easier, at the I mean, outlet. On this too. side, yeah. is, is a whole lot easier. Yeah, yeah. 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 this is great because on a Friday or a Saturday over at the outlet mall, you're lucky if you find a parking spot. Absolutely. Yes. So this is yeah. an awesome alternative. Mm -hmm. And we've got plenty of parking all the way yeah. back. <laughs> all the way back yeah. to the retail center there. Yeah. We we were just super uh, impressed that we were able to pull it off. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It'd be ready crazy. for the guests. And we had um, hundreds of guests come through this weekend for friends and family. Uh, the feedback was phenomenal. Um, everybody seems to be really happy um, to have another option where they don't have to cross the highway. Yeah. And right. um, another option that brings fresh food and you know a lot of comments on like you can taste that it's fresh yes. and you know and I know Jeff spoke about our chicken but you know we have a meat cutter in house yeah. that wow. truly cuts the chicken and cuts the boneless wings and it's marinated never frozen hand breaded like you can taste that quality and we're really proud to have those items and be able to offer them to yeah. the community yeah mm -hmm. well that's it I yeah. mean that's your marriage with you know Texas Roadhouse that they're known for that as well yeah you know just the quality yeah. So yeah, I'm I'm sure you guys are gonna be very uh very you guys successful are be here. Super busy, very <laughs> soon. We look for that. That's, that's a good problem to have. Yes, that's yeah. true. So tell us again, you do um, lunch, dinner, breakfast, brunch on weekends? Or? So we do it a little different. We're we're very similar to Texas Roadhouse that way. We're not open for lunch Monday through Thursday. Okay. So we open it up at eleven, uh, or excuse me, four o'clock Monday okay. through Thursday. We close it at midnight. Perfect. On Saturday and Sunday we do a menu brunch. Um, so we're open up at 10 o'clock on Saturday and Sunday um, and then we and I forgot Friday of course uh, <laughs> Friday, Friday is our, our one day that we do lunch during the week okay. so we open up 11 o'clock on Friday we close okay. at 1 o'clock in, in the morning Saturday we open, we open at 10 and close at 1 in the morning and then Sunday we're open 10 to 10 Perfect. Yeah, so plenty of time to to capture all the games and capture all there's so much going on right now sporting wise yeah. whether you're a NCAA basketball fan or a hockey fan or an NBA fan Football playoffs are going off right now. The college football playoffs are going right now. Soccer is always going on right now. <laughs> <laughs> it goes year round. Um, so all, we try to embrace all those. Yeah, we try to embrace all those things. So yeah. it's there's just a lot going on. I think we're opening at a, at a great time of the year. Yeah. Um, not everybody wants to open a restaurant during you know the Christmas holiday, but I think we're going right into a great season. So we're yeah, excited about it. Sure. Well, and the fact that we have brunch, right? Like yeah. to to be a new brunch yeah. spot, like you. Said it. It is a menu brunch. Mm -hmm. um, we really are. I mean, we have two dollar mimosas, Ooh. two dollar mimosas, now uh, you're three dollar screwdrivers. Um, again, you've got those fresh items for brunch. Right. We've got the chicken and not waffles, which Ooh. is a little bit of an untraditional. We've got a, a caramelized chicken French and toast. Chicken and not waffles. But everybody mm -hmm. uh, down south, you do, you see chicken, chicken and waffles. waffles yeah. So we do uh, chicken with French toast. So just oh, a little bit. Hey, hey that Yum. sounds good too. Yeah. So a caramelized French toast and a, and a couple of uh, a breakfast quesadilla, eggs a couple of different ways, a couple um, egg sandwiches as well, one with chicken, uh, the cluck and good sandwich, um, and then just more of a traditional kind of uh, egg sandwich on focaccia. Um, we make I'm forgetting about the burritos. We've got, we've got a, a oh. chicken burrito and a vegetarian burrito as well as the, uh, the, what can I think what the name of, of the other burrito is? 
Oh, the big, the, the big, the El Rancherito. Yeah, Frenchy. you're right. Yeah. Oh my god. We make our own biscuits. Yeah. Buttermilk yeah. biscuits. Thing in the back a little when we're making them. <laughs> That's a true story. Oh, I love that. <laughs> Tuesday pizza night. I see right on the TV. Yeah. Yeah. Right yeah. Totally so, cool. yeah, so we have two really great value driven evenings. So that would be Monday, we call burger night. Any burger on our menu is $7.99. We don't change it, we don't make it smaller. It's exactly what you would get any other day of the week, but you get it on Monday nights for $7.99 with the fries. Yeah. Yeah, which yeah. is crazy yeah. once you see our burgers. And then Tuesday night, um, any 12-inch pizza that's on the menu for $9.99. Right. So again, you're not getting a one topping. You're getting the, the 33 Deluxe. You're getting a meaty, meaty, and it's it's a delicious pizza. And the crust is uh, brushed with the Parmesan garlic butter. It's delicious. And oh. you can add a side salad for $1.99. So if there are people that are more looking for more of a value-driven evening, we've got two that are really fantastic. Wow, oh, that so. is so cool. Yeah, super Very cool. affordable. For yes. Yeah, you know. for families that you know just want to go out and have that bonding time, you know, as a family, you don't have to spend a fortune. Just come out, enjoy some time together, and have some delicious made from scratch food. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, it's definitely delicious. We were here the other day. <laughs> oh my god! Well, I had some more today. Did you? you? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's cooked perfectly, and the flavors are great, and yeah. you can tell it's not just thrown in from a freezer from the fryer. You can totally taste the difference. So. Oh yeah. yeah. So before we go, everybody's wondering what the thirty-three stands for. So, so we have to talk about that. <laughs> so in the United States, prohibition ended in nineteen thirty-three. December fifth, nineteen thirty-three. So that's I mean uh, that was cause for celebration. So we want people to come in and celebrate something, whether that's a softball win, um, getting married, getting you know whatever it may be, bachelor's parties, um, birthdays, Super uh, Bowl party, Super Bowl party. Yeah, all those kind of things. Be the Browns, uh, so it's just. But. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, be, sorry, it might be the Buckeyes. It'll it. be the Buckeyes. It'll, it'll be okay. Oh, oh. So that's part of part of the thirty-three. Um, we we used to open with thirty-three taps. Um, we've kind of pared that down a little bit. Um, our our Bubba's Burger Grind uh, has thirty-three percent bacon in it, so we do two burger options. Oh. One is a is an Angus Chuck. The other is Angus with bacon mixed in so that Bubba patty yeah. is is a, a bacon burger patty and so the beer 33 degrees, 33 degrees. they say degrees. dang near freezing uh, <laughs> oh my god they're doing I love some places. That. Yeah. <laughs> I don't wow. think they say that in Florida but <laughs> <laughs> well you guys are going to have to come in and check out the sign Check yeah, out all, check out all this ambiance. Yeah, there's a it's lot great. to look at yeah, for sure. A yeah. ton to look at. Uh huh. Anything I love all else? The posters. Yeah. Anything else you want to share about this amazing restaurant? No, I th we've we've uh, like I said this morning, we've, we're so thankful for our construction crew that got it built on time, early, uh, even. Uh, we've we've been warmly embraced by Wesley Chapel. We we think we've hired a great staff. Uh, f both Friday and Sunday, when we do our, our fa friends and family mock services. We got raving reviews about the food, raving reviews about the service and hospitality, and we just we just want to be the friendliest place in town uh, and, and invite some people to celebrate. So Yay. that's kind of who we are. That's right. That's, that's it. Awesome. So well, yeah. everybody's got to come by and, yes. and say hi to Krista and Jeff. <laughs> yeah, we'll be try here. Out their stuff. Yeah, they'll come out. We'll they'll be here. Be. <laughs> <laughs> they'll be here all the time. That's so. awesome. For sure. Well, thank you for giving us the opportunity. Mm -hmm. See us and oh, you know no. eating you. with us and yeah. trying our food. It was well, awesome. Well, thank you. Yeah, we'll definitely great. be back. That's yeah. for sure. It'll be exciting. Oh, we'll, have the, we'll have the ribbon cut in on there. You, you oh know, yeah, with the dull great. scissors. Yeah. It always has a strong <laughs> ribbon. Oh my goodness. It's a strong <laughs> ribbon. Okay. Aww. It was a very strong. Yeah. yeah. Well, well, thank then. you again thank for you. taking the yeah. chance to do this here. You guys are really We're lucky here to have it. Thank you all for watching and listening. Make sure you guys come in. Bubba's 33 and Wesley yes. Chapel. Come yeah. see him. Thank you. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.